Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. This tutorial is about creating a graph with OpenOffice for Kids, Calc, which is similar to Microsoft Excel and it's for children ages 7 to 9. In order to do this lesson, you'll need to have the free OpenOffice for Kids installed on your school network. So this is the website to download OpenOffice and there are many language versions available. It's also a good idea to integrate this lesson with another topic that you're currently studying. So if you have data from a different lesson, then use it. But, but today I'm going to have some counters and I'm going to do a graph of the colors of my pile of counters. So from the teacher's point of view, the children will be doing analysis and presentation of data. And from the children's point of view, the main concept that they will learn today is comparing reading information in a table versus reading information in a graph. And they'll be able to see that it's much easier to quickly see patterns and be able to answer questions about information when it's presented in a graph. So the easy activities today is to create a table and then insert a column chart. So let's have a look how to do that. This is the main screen in Open Office for Kids Calc. And you can see it's a spreadsheet similar to Microsoft Excel. The first thing you might like to do is to get some of these toolbars out of the way. So I don't want this middle one, it's for pictures. Um, you can go to View, Toolbars, and you can see that there are many toolbars available and unclick the ones that you don't want to see. Or you can, I'll just zoom up here, you can get the mouse on top of these dots and then drag this down to a place on the screen and then you can click the X to close the menu but that will do for now okay so there are just two columns to this counter color and number of counters now the first thing the children will discover is that the writing goes on top of the columns so they need to move the mouse in between the A and B columns and see how it changes shape and hold down the mouse to drag the width of the column to be wider. So I'm just going to have a pile of counters and I'm going to count the colors. So red, I have five. And orange, I have three. Now that we've got our information in a table, we're ready to get the computer to make it into a chart. Now the children might just go to insert chart straight away but firstly you'll need to remind them that they need to tell the computer which information to do so to do that they need to select the top left column and hold down the mouse until the bottom right column of the end of the numbers and let go of the mouse and then go to insert chart and the easiest activity is to just use the default column chart so all they need to do is to click finish and then one optional easier activity is to go to the top and do a title colors of counters a more medium level activity is to also insert a pie chart and of course to customize the graph and the cell colors to make it look much better so I'm going to show you how to do something like this one okay so to customize the colors of the column chart Firstly, you need to click on the chart, double click on this one, and then before I go to this menu, I need to make sure that I click on the little green square here, double click. Now you see how only this column is selected? Now if I go to double click on it, it will only change this one. Before it would have changed all of the colors altogether. So it doesn't make sense for red to be blue, so I'm going to make red red and now when I single click on the next one orange and double click again I can make this orange they can also change the background of the chart and to do that they have to double click on the background area and then it might be on borders by default but if you click on area it gets different types of fill you can have a fill as a solid color but the really exciting options are gradient we can have a mixture of two colors merging into one another or hatching this gets a bit confusing looking at the hatchings behind the columns but they could try that 
or bitmap, which is an image file. So if you want to have the sky behind your graph and the children, uh, then they can have the sky. Of course, you can also format the cells in the table. So red, you can select it with the mouse and then right click, go to format cells. Now I'm going to go to background and make the red into red. Once again, right select, right click, format cells, orange should be orange. Now that we have the color of the counter matching the color of the background, there are some more changes we can do to the formatting. Hold down the mouse, select all of the numbers. We can change it to a different font, many, many fonts available. And then we can increase the size altogether. We might need to remind the children to hold down the mouse and to the columns and to resize the columns. Right, so now to create a pie chart, we can select the numbers again, go to insert chart, and then this time click on pie. Now there's all sorts of 3D looks as well that it's possible, and you can have, um, have a play around with those. And then click finish, and then you'll need to move the chart out of the way. So you know, if they click on the middle one, that will just, the computer thinks that it's just wanting to move the pie chart itself. And you need to go to the edge and near the little black squares, and then move it down the bottom here. Remember to also add a title to the pie chart. Now at the moment, this doesn't make sense because red is in blue. So to change the colors of the parts of the pie chart, you actually need to do five clicks. So one, two, three, double click, four, and then one more for each section. And then right click, go to object properties, and this is for red, so we want to make go to area and make it red. Now I'm going to skip until I've changed all of the colors. The final challenge activity is to use the sum function to calculate the total. And so to do that, we go back and select the numbers. Now after that, they can go to here. And if I move the mouse just on top without clicking it, it says sum. So the total of all of the counters that I had was 18. And finally, they need to make sure that they've typed total in there. Now when the children go to save their work, they need to go to file and to go to save as. The default format is open office spreadsheet, which is fine if you're going to use open office to open the program. But if you'd like to use Microsoft Excel, you need to click on the save as type menu and go down to Excel. Okay. Once you've called it a sensible name, then that's the end. And the children should really enjoy doing this activity, making a graph with Open Office for Kids Calc. To request your tutorial or to download a copy of the slides used in this tutorial, visit letslearncomputing.com. Thanks for listening.